different terminal arrangement, shapes, and sizes of an integrated circuit or IC. In this field, complete components or parts such as transistors, resistors, capacitors, and diodes are integrated or combined systematically in one chip. Transformers and coils or inductors cannot be integrated because they are bulky. Usually, the chip used as platform for integrated circuit is silicon. To integrate these minute electronics components into one small IC chip, photo etching and photo printing are examples of Newton use. ICs are available in different shapes and sizes. Some look like transistors with 3 up to 8 terminals. Some look like small thin cans. This is an example of an IC with 3 terminals. Then we have IC with 8 terminals and the last one is IC like a small tin can. There are also ICs that are available in flat ceramic packages in various sizes measuring as small as 3.4 cm by 1 cm and bigger. Example is the flat single line IC. Another type of IC is flat with pins or terminal leads protruding straight sideways on both sides. This type of IC is sometimes referred to as flat dual inline. The dual inline IC. This type of IC has its pins or terminal leads on both sides bent downward. The pins of this type of IC are usually plugged in directly in the printed circuit board or in the IC socket. Then we have quad inline IC. This type of IC has its pins or terminal leads form the two parallel lines or rows on each side and bent downward. How to read the pin numbers of the IC? In flat single line IC, with the IC number facing you correctly, start reading the pin numbers from the first pin at the left and continue to the right. This is the example, the 9 pins IC. In flat type IC with pins or terminal leads protruding on both sides, with the IC number piecing you correctly, begin counting the pins from the right to left upper rows and continue at the bottom from the left to right. This is the example. The dual inline IC. In this type of IC, the pin numbers are counted as shown in the illustration below. Notch identification. When the notch is facing at you, the first number is at your right side nearest to the notch. The dot identification. Locate the dot. The terminal nearest to the dot is the pin number 1. We have the examples. Another example for the dot identification. This is another example for the dot identification. Different companies manufacturing different types of IC may use different methods of counting the IC pins. In this case, secure as much as possible the IC manual supplied by the manufacturer. Thank you for watching and God bless.